So, I received a question from a dude. Uh, let's call him Edgardo. Uh, he basically asked, when I say tune the shamisen to the key of C, how do we know when our shamisen is in the key of C, or any other key for that matter? This is a great question, and especially it's a confusing thing when you're just beginning. Uh, but once you get the basic idea, the principle of it, it's as easy as walking a bike. Uh, so, let's learn how. Yeah, basically, um, the each noito, the thick string, is what sets the key for the shamisen. Uh, the pitch of the ich noito is what sets the key for the shamisen. And the other two strings are tuned based upon the pitch of the ich noito. So this is much easier done than said. So to avoid over explaining it, let's learn how this concept works by tuning our shamisen to the key of C. So to do this, we are going to need an electronic tuner, one of the best musical inventions of the 21st century. Um, this is the Snark tuner. I got it on Amazon. It's very affordable. I think it was about $20 or maybe even less. Uh, so we clip it on our Tenjin. We turn it on. Currently, the shamisen is tuned uh, to the key of metaphysical distress. Uh, but we're going to we're going to want to change this to the key of C. So let's just strike or pluck the ichinoito, the thick string. Hopefully you can see that. And it looks like uh, A, and it's actually perfect A because when this little needle goes to the center, that shows that this string is tuned to A perfectly. So we're in A, and we want to go to C. So we got A, B, C. We have to go higher. So we are going to grasp our ichi no ito, no itomaki, uh, this one up here, and we're going to twist until we hear the pitch increase, the pitch raise. So it's going up. As it's going up, we see here we see the letter has raised to A sharp. So A, A sharp, yeah. Uh, next will be B. Uh, so one word of warning, um, to avoid accidentally tuning too far above, you know, over overshooting, um, pluck the string frequently as you look at the number. I've had students who they're just turning this, but they're not plucking, and they've gone way too far and almost risk breaking the string. So we don't want to do that. So pluck, twist, pluck, twist, twist, pluck, pluck, twist, pluck, pluck, pluck. Where are we at? Oh, whoops! I wasn't even looking at the tuner. Um, so we want to also look at the tuner as we listen. Um, so here we go, we are just below C. Once we see the letter C, we want the needle to go to the center. So we gently twist the itamaki. It's a little flat, a little sharp. Is that it? Okay, that's good enough. So our ichinoito is set to the key of C. Now we have to tune the other two strings. That kind of sounds pretty nice. Now we want to tune it uh, to a standard tuning. There are three standard tunings of shamisen, uh, hon choshi, niagari, and sansagari. Well, so how do you know which tuning to tune to? Well, if you're learning a specific song, um, generally the notation or your teacher will tell you which tuning is most appropriate for that song. But if you don't really don't care at this point, if you're just wanting to play anything, I would recommend the tuning of Niagari. I find it you know, pretty straightforward and easy to play whatever you want, whatever I want. Uh, so for this, let's learn how to tune our shamisen to Niagari tuning. So for Niagari tuning, the Ninoito is tuned a fifth apart from the Ichinoito, and the Sanoito is an octave apart from the Ichinoito. So it will be in letters C, G, C. 
Now we can always use our tuner and tune the other strings until we see the letter, the correct letter, and then we can tune that way. But it's really not very practical. You see, the letters, the precise tuning doesn't really matter if you're playing alone, playing solo. The most important thing is the tonal spacing between the strings. So if you're playing in the key of A, B, somewhere in between B and C or C and D, anywhere on the map, uh, as long as the strings are spaced apart, tonally spaced apart appropriately, the shamisen will be in tune with itself. So by using the tuner and thinking of the letters, you'll always have to will be thinking of the letters. So for in C, that's easy enough. We think, okay, C, G, C. But if we want to tune to B or A or B flat, you know, then the uh, calculations, computation has to begin. And that has no place in my kind of music, I tell you. So let me show you this practical uh, method for getting a sense of the tonal spacing between the strings. Within a week or two of regular practice, your ear will develop to the point where you'll have this automatic feeling of where the tonal spacing is. So if your each noito is lower or higher, your hand will auto automatically move to the other uh, strings, tuning pegs, and adjust. So it'll be perfectly in tune. I believe it. I believe it. Uh, so. Let's not use our tuner for now. Let's turn that off. Our Ichinoito ichi is set to C. So now we need to set our Ninoito, the middle string. So for Niagari tuning, put your finger on position 6 of the Ichinoito and pluck. Now pluck the open Ninoito, middle string. So you can hear that the Ichinoito is higher. Da, 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 da. So we want the tone of the Ninoito, the open Ninoito, to match the tone of position 6 on the Ichinoito. So um, grip your Itomaki for the Ninoito and twist it up just a little bit. And now let's compare again. Position six on each noito. Now open ninoito. Da, 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 da. We're getting close. So just a little bit more. So now we have set the Ninoito for Niagadi tuning. We have the Ichinoito. Uh, now we need to tune our Sanoito. So let's hear how that sounds. So we have set our Ninoito. Let's put our finger on position 4 of the Ninoito and strike or pluck. Position four of the Ninoito. Now pluck the open Sanoito again. Da, 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 da. Well, that definitely sounds lower than dun, uh, four on the Ninoito. So we're going to tune up the uh, Sanoito until they match. So just a little bit. Let's compare again. Da, Dun, 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 dun. Still a little low. A little bit more. In the beginning, it's safe to check often. Dun, 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 dun. Just a little bit more. 
Let's check again. Dun. 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 Oh, so we've gone too high. So let's lower it down. Close enough, I'd say. So let's hear them all. More or less. Now to get the tuning right on, you can start by tuning the ichi, ichi noito to a specific key, like C. And when that's set to C, the ni noito will be G, and the sonoito will be C. So in the beginning, you can use a tuner to this set key and really train your ear to hear this spacing. And before you know it, again, uh, in a week or two, do this every day just a little bit, and before you know it, you can tune this down here and then automatically you'll know. Just like that, you your hands will automatically fly to get the shamisen in the right tuning. Again, doing it without a tune or anything can seem daunting like or such, but just give it some time, a week or two, practice, um, using a tuner to check and take it slow, no expectations, and pretty soon you'll have it all by ear. Hey, uh, this was just one tuning, but there are still Hon Choshi and Sansagari tunings. Uh, do you want to learn these two? Go to the Bachido blog, a link below, and you can learn these two other tunings using the same method that we just used for Niagati tuning. I'm Kyle Abbott.